Okay, so this is Down Space, or whatever his name is. <laughs> well, however you pronounce it, rather. Uh, when you do come in here, there are two guys. They have a conversation, just wait it out, as usual. Whenever someone's having a conversation, you it's best to just wait it out, and then take them out rather than rushing it, because if you do that, then both will notice. Eventually, they stop talking, and one of them leaves. And. <laughs> I waited for him to walk around the side and then went around here and took him out. Be sure to hide these because they will actually be important later. So the second guy is <laughs> kind of annoying because he, he just stays on one side and walks the other, stays there, and so on. So I went here, waited out until he stopped and he started walking to the other side, and then I went out and took him out. So that might take a little bit of a while. I cut out a bit here. I don't know if you'll notice. Yeah, there you go. And then you just take him out. It's actually kind of difficult to get it right because um, the non-lethal takedown has a very, very short distance on it. This guy is also a bit of a pain. He, again, he has a conversation with some other guy. Just waited out. Uh, not much else he can do. <laughs> Wait just here. So the way that I decided to take him out was to teleport behind him <laughs> and take him out like this. There's actually another guy in this room, but just don't worry about him, he won't notice you. But he will know that um, is the guy's gone, so he comes in search for him. So I decided to use the same trick again, teleport behind him and take him out. Oh, it's such a brilliant trick, I like it a lot. There's nothing else in this area, just a bunch of loot. So... Make your way upstairs, and a guy spawns in here, and I actually decided to take him out. I don't know if it has any effect, if it means that the guards aren't as alert, or the assassins aren't as alert, but, yeah, I don't know. There's another guy to the left here. Uh, he might not go there to start with, but just wait around until he does, and then he's pretty easy to take out. So the best way to get into the so the main room is through this side side window and going up top actually don't use the optimal way to get downstairs there's a window on the wall to the left here that you can just drop down through either side to go through the room it doesn't really matter as long as you don't get detected so this is how I did it and I teleported behind him behind that guard there you go, because there are actually a couple of guards out here that might interfere with what you want to do. So, just take him out. There's also a bunch of loot, so he does spot me, and eventually I just decide, ah, I'll deal with him later, and go downstairs. Because I'm after a bone charm or a rune, I'm not sure which one is which. <laughs> I don't know, just that guy there, and just take him out. But that bone charm or rune, I don't know what it is, actually ends up being behind a solid wall that you can't get through. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, so it's a rune. So you have to pick that up before you enter the base. And handily enough, this other guy <laughs> comes walking through here. And you take him out. I wonder if you can get from the downstairs. No, I think that's that's Dan's room. You can't get in there. Or at least not yet. So here's how to take loot him. So with this guy, you have to approach very carefully. And as soon as you can, grab him and walk backwards as well, otherwise Down will notice you. And also make sure that he's sort of far away. So Down, it's pretty easy to uh, take his stuff from, just teleport behind him when he's standing next to the, next to the desk. And there you go, loot him. And be sure to take the key as well, although that's not really necessary, because you can. You don't have to go all the way back, there's a window, as I showed you before, there's a window downstairs, you can just go through and then go down. But I, for some, whatever reason, I didn't notice that, and just walk back down. When you do go down to cha um, the chain, be sure to, uh, <laughs> falling down holes, I didn't know where they well, I, I didn't pay attention. Uh, be sure to check out the loot, because this painting is worth quite a bit of coin, and it is actually one of the collectibles or whatever, as you can hear by the music. 